The first thing you should do is go to zoom.us. From their main page, click one of the orange buttons that says, Sign up, it's free. You'll be asked for your date of birth to make sure you're 16 or older, a requirement unless you're signing up through your school. Click Continue. Once you enter your email address, click the blue button. You can also sign up directly through Single Sign-On, your Google account, or your Facebook account. You'll see a message that your activation email has been sent. If you use Gmail or Outlook, you can click one of the large buttons to go directly to their sign-on page. In this case, Gmail is already open in another tab. Find the activation email from Zoom. Then click the orange button which says Activate Account. This will bring you to the sign-up page. Enter your first and last name and choose a strong password. Once you enter your password twice, remember to write it down in a safe place. Then click Continue. You'll be asked if you want to invite a friend to try out Zoom. For now, let's skip this step. Oftentimes, you'll want to schedule a meeting rather than starting it immediately. Click the white button which says, Go to My Account. As you scroll down, you'll see your profile information. You can add things like a profile pic, which others will see when your video is turned off. In the left-hand toolbar, under Personal, click Meetings. Then click the button that says Schedule a Meeting on the right-hand side. Here you can choose the topic, date, and time of your meeting. If there will be three or more participants, then the meeting length is limited to 40 minutes under the free basic plan. The time zone should reflect the one that you are currently in. Zoom will adjust this for participants in other time zones. You can generate a new meeting ID each time, or select your personal meeting ID. Your unique personal ID is connected to your account. It might be convenient to choose this option if you plan on holding a recurring meeting. A passcode for participants is now required for security reasons. You can decide if you want to create a waiting room as an additional security measure.